What's up guys, the captain from Just Another Gaming site here with a brand new unboxing. Now we've got with us the Apex keyboard from Steel Series, but this isn't the regular edition, we've got the fancy fanatic edition of the keyboard. Um, on the outside we've got a nice matte finish box with the glossy keyboard and logos on the front side. And on the back, oops, on the back here we've got a glossy keyboard highlighting all the features. Um, we've got the macro keys. We've got the tactile feedback on the WASD, we've got the integrated USB hub, and of course, different ways to use the backlight illumination. Inside, um, we've got this nice um, solid black box, so you can rest easy knowing your keyboard will not be damaged before you get it. Um, inside, um, first things first, we've got um, the quick start guide. Um, most of you won't need it. Also comes with Steel Series stickers. You know you can use it whatever you want. But you know personally, I would have preferred if we got some Fnatic stickers with it, considering it is the Fnatic edition of the keyboard. Um, then let's see what else. What else? There's the keyboard, and we've got these two little rubber bumps, which I am assuming are to give the keyboard height. Um, you can drop them in the back for a little raised platform if you want. They just um, go into the back of the keyboard. I'm assuming we'll just look into that. Now on to the keyboard. Um, it's got a nice matte outer edge with a glossy interior. You've got the orange WASD that stands out. Uh, only the W has the tactile feedback, so you can find it, but considering it's an illuminated uh, backlit keyboard, it shouldn't be hard figuring out where your keys are. It's a big fat space bar. I don't uh, particularly see why. Uh, but the main part of the keyboard is the macro keys. Um, you've got 10 here, and you've got 12 on top. And these four buttons here um, let you set four different configurations for the macro. So you know you can assign them for different games and just easily swap in and out. Uh, on the right side here, we seem to have the media keys, so that's always good to have in the keyboard. We've got the Fnatic logo, the Steel Series logo, and interestingly enough, there is a Fnatic button where the second Windows key usually is. So I'm assuming that's what that button does. Either way, it's a nifty little addition. And then we've got the invert USB ports. I'm assuming these are USB 2.0 ports. And then we've got the dual USB uh, connectors to get your keyboard up and running. Um, and yeah, of course, back here is to change your keyboard configuration, whether you want it high, low. So that's how it goes. So yeah, that's the Steel CD's Apex Fanatic Edition keyboard unboxing. We're going to do a review soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for that video. Do drop a comment telling us what you think of the video and do like and share. Thanks for tuning in.